All right, now that the intro is out of the way, on to some coding. Ooh wee, I'm excited. So, one thing I decided I'm going to do is add for finance at the end of this. So, what I learned today in Python for finance. That's the name of the series now. And, um, all right, so let's get into it. What I learned today in Python finance. So, one quick thing. I mentioned... I mentioned I was in a class, and I just had to give a shout out to the homie. There he is right there. That's Jason. The class is through PyQuant News. This is PyQuantNews.com. You need to check him out. It's dope. I, you know, he sends these newsletters every Friday, and they got dope, dope content. And that they they helped me learn a lot of a lot of sweet stuff over the last couple of months. And so then he's got this is the class I'm in. It's called Getting Started with Quant getting started with Python for quant finance. So that's what I'm taking. And so I, man, I was having a tough time deciding what I wanted to talk about today because I learned so many cool things that would probably make a cooler video, but that's not the name of the series. It's basic. It's what I learned today. So if I tell you anything that I learned not today, it would be a lie. So I'm going to keep it, keep, keep it true. So what I want to talk about is OpenBB Terminal. I don't know if you know about it. You need to know. It, it is so dope. Semi-new. Go to OpenBB.co. Um, get it. It's got, it's got all sorts of cool stuff. So that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, all right. So here is the terminal. Here's what it looks like. Um, it's a command-based uh, thing here. You can do a terminal, which is nice. Or you can put it over in a notebook and run the SDK. Let me go back to my window. So um, you go to the terminal documentation, and it's got everything you need to know. I was setting API keys, basics, intros, all the stuff. And then there's this little switch, which I have in my other tab, for SDK. And it's basically like you can turn in whatever you're doing on the terminal into a notebook and make research that you keep. And, and that's what I've really been enjoying playing with but today in the class actually we had we were able to have a zoom session with the founders of open open bb dda dda and uh and that was awesome and so that was actually my favorite favorite class so far so what we did today i'm going to do kind of something i saw him do in the class today and um and then show you what i learned so here's a terminal you got all these Anytime you want to know what, what can you do, you can push H for help or question mark. I noticed the founder uses question mark. I've been using H. I'm like, dang, I need to switch over to using a question mark. But it's the same thing. So we're going to do stocks. And then we're going to load. Actually, if you see right here, I've already loaded Microsoft. But if I hadn't, you, you type this right here, load. And these drop-down menus pop up. And that's that's kind of how you learn how to do it. You just, you just find something on this drop menu and let it keep going. But... Ticker, T, M soft. There we go. So now that that's loaded, if I push H for help or question mark, it'll tell you these here are all the different commands starting from here. And I wanted to do this one CA for comparison analysis. All right, so CA. And then who do I want to compare Microsoft to? It's got a nice uh, function here, get. We'll get similar stocks right here. And then you can do it from three different data sources if you would like. So the first one is, I think, is Finviz. It's going to tell me. So get, enter. It's going to return similar stocks to Microsoft. There it is. Uh, it gave me 10 companies. That's from Finviz. And if I wanted to change the source, I can go get dash dash source. And then I'll change it to Polygon. I got that API loaded in. That that's when you got to load the API to get it to work. And then it gives me uh, similar companies using Polygon. So then the cool thing I learned today was this H core, which look up at the menu. Wait, let's let's do a, a little. Uh, now that we have similar companies loaded, at any given time when I hit that help menu, what you can do, what's an option, is in this this color 
cyan looking color and if you cannot do it it's in gray but after i so originally this was in gray but after i've loaded those 10 things in i hit help again now these are blue and so that's what i can do so what i'm going to do here is h core was pretty cool this is let's find it here historical price correlation and the data source it's going to use is in orange so that's going to be yahoo finance hit enter Brrr. What? Hmm. We are truly learning live. Let me go back to Git. What is that error not supported between instances? I was just doing this. Let's go to Git. Source. Change it back to Finviz. Maybe it didn't like that. Hmm. So now we're going to get 10 stocks that are similar to Microsoft again. And we're going to go H-Core. It's going to work. I don't know why it didn't work with uh, Polygon, but... Curious. Curious. I do not know why. But I did it with FinViz first, and it worked before I made this video. So this is what this pulls up. Correlation heat map of these companies from a year ago. 2022 January 26th and it's pretty sweet you got 10 stocks you can see what am I comparing these with oh, oh I was like I thought I'm recording uh, comparing with Microsoft should be higher than 84 but yeah that would be here all right so that's pretty sweet and another thing I, th I thought was just really cool I'm looking at my options and up here I see this guy, TSNE, run TSNE on all SP500 stocks and returns the closest tickers. Sounds pretty cool. Let's see what that does. TSNE. Bam. Now, this is dope. Spoiler alert, this is dope. Now, what is TSNE? I didn't know. So I Googled it. And it is. Put my result down for a second. T distributed stochastic neighbor embedding. Woo, what a mouthful. But basically, uh, it says it all in the thing. It's basically the 10 correlated closest stocks. And it produces this figure, which is just really cool. So it uses that algorithm to find those correlations. And so they're in blue there. You can see, I mean, I think the closest dot there is CMG, Chipotle, Mexican Grill. So that's pretty dope. And I just thought that was dope. So that's what I learned today, how to use TSNE. And then when I go back to the uh, H-Core again, mm -hmm -hmm. the historical price correlation, it uses these 10 that the, that the fancy algorithm came up with. So now it's using those 10 that are loaded in. And there we are. Microsoft Chipotle. So see, this correlation is a different, a different calculation than the other one. So that's why these numbers are, you know, different. All right, that's it. That's what I learned today. Thanks for tuning in. You know, I'm not that good at making these YouTubes yet, but I get a little practice and, and I'll knock the rust off. So, um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. See you.